Sayadri, also known as the Western Ghats, is considered a boon endowed upon India. This mountain range has been responsible for the creation of the natural resources, forests, flora and fauna, human civilization, as well as the socio-political history of the region. Today we'll be meandering through these picturesque hills which abound in natural beauty. So come on ladies and gentlemen, let's experience the unique world that is Asayadri. There are many mountain ranges in India, but in peninsular India, there are two dominant mountain ranges, namely the Western and Eastern Ghats. Although similar in many aspects, yet these ranges inherently differ from each other. Our favourite western ghats, also called the Sayadri, are spread over an area of 1,60,000 square kilometres from Gujarat to Kerala. These ranges run parallel to the Arabian Sea. With the exception of the Palghat Gap, the Sayadri is an unbroken chain of mountains and valleys. The Sayadri is geographically divided into three parts. The ranges in Gujarat, Maharashtra and Goa constitute the Northern Sayadri. From Karnataka to North Kerala is the Central Sayadri. And the ranges below the Palghat Gap are designated to be the Southern Sayadri. However, this film will be concentrating only on the biodiversity of the Northern Sayadri. A majority of the 48,200 square kilometer sprawl of the Northern Sayadri lies within Maharashtra. The average height of the Sayadri in this region is between 250 to 1,000 meters. The incomparable uniqueness of the Sayadri in each of these three states is astounding. Many new species are yet being discovered from the northern Sayadri region. We don't even have generic common names for most of these creatures. A majority of us are totally clueless of the rich biodiversity of the Sayadri ranges.
populace is familiar with the temples, mosques, churches, forts, tourist destinations, waterfalls and lakes, rivers, mountain peaks and cities that lie within the folds of the Sahyadri. Around 11,600 square kilometers of the northern Sayadri lies within Gujarat. Purna Wildlife Sanctuary and Mansrada National Park are the protected forests established to safeguard the Western Ghats biodiversity within Gujarat. Saputara is a famous hill station in the region. Here you will encounter towering teak dominated forests. The 36,000 square kilometer stretch of Sayadri and Maharashtra abounds in wildlife diversity. The string of mountains and forts here attract hordes of tourists. Many large rivers originate in the Sayadri ranges of Maharashtra. In the lengthy Navapur to Savantwadi stretch are nestled hundreds of cities, villages, tribal settlements and industrial areas. The plateaus and forests of Kas and Chandoli harbour hidden floral treasures such as the entada climbers, fishtail palms, mangoes and jackfruits among its diverse vegetation. In just Amboli Ghat, you can unearth over a hundred species of snakes, amphibians and invertebrates. Although the geographical area of Goa is minuscule, it hosts the largest biodiversity within the northern western Ghats. Goa is popular not only for its beaches but also for its famous Dud Sagar waterfall. The diversity of trees, climbers, butterflies, insects, fish, frogs, snakes, birds and mammals found here is simply mind-boggling. The lantern flowers or Keropegia are believed to be representative of the Sayadri ranges. Scientists have documented over 330 species of butterflies and a countless diversity of frogs, snakes, scorpions and centipedes from the region. With some luck, you can sight giant squirrels, gaur, sloth bears, wild dogs and even the occasional elephant herds. However, all this beauty is facing imminent threats. Similar to the destruction of global ecosystems, the Sahyadri too are in grave danger. A major contributor to this degradation is rapid urbanization. 
Large scale roadways and railway projects and power plants have mushroomed inside forests under the garb of development. Our environment is being ravaged by rampant mining, illegal wildlife trade, establishment of mega dams for power generation, and high tension power lines. Natural calamities compound and complicate the problem further. Like with every problem, if we made a consorted effort, we can easily find solutions to Sayadri's problems. So what can we do to safeguard our precious Sayadri? We will have to change our outlook. It will be imperative for us to change our farming techniques and attitude towards tourism. While using advanced technology, we must practice crop rotation and organic farming and simultaneously develop and maintain a seed bank. It will be easier to generate biodiversity registers if you observe and photo document every single creature found in the region. Ecotourism will automatically emerge as an eco-friendly mode of livelihood. If tourists buy handicrafts and locally produced goods, it will boost the rural economy. In return, these villagers will stand up to save the Sayadri. The opportunity hasn't slipped out of our hands. We just have to change ourselves a little and see how the Sayadri mountains get rejuvenated. Thank you.